bags were horror lies. Welcome back to Body Bags. This is week number 458. This is a random week. I'll be your host, Jason from Horrific Nightmares. And this week I picked Nizula the Rat Monster. Now this is a Japanese film, so you'll have to pardon my pronunciation. Nizula the Rat Monster is a 2002 film, which runs approximately 90 minutes, and is written and directed by Kanta Tagawa. Now, he was responsible for one film that I actually can't pronounce. This stars Mika Katsumura. He was in Heat and Violent Fire. Yoshi Yuki Kabota. He was in some TV. And Daisuke Ryu. He passed away on April 11th, 2021 at the age of 64. He was in Agitator and After the Rain. Now, this was made for 250,000 yen. All right, this has a pretty simple premise to it. Uh, this is about a laboratory who is conducting experiments in order to make super soldiers. Now, the serum that they created actually got into the walls somehow and the floor and created a rat monster, which is as big as a human and really nasty looking. But it is not CGI, it is practical effects. It's a man inside of a suit, which I thought was pretty cool. The only thing I didn't like about the rat monster itself was he always did this one movement that was kind of annoying to me. But, you know, other than that, it was pretty cool. Now, the serum is also has also gotten out of this lab and started affecting the population and killing the population. And what it does is it makes these like black dots all over the person and they eventually get sick enough where they die. So we have a... It breaks down into two stories. You have a, a five-part... Uh, army that goes into this warehouse to try to kill this rat monster. And they're sealed in there until they can figure out a way to get out. They take a, like a computer tech in there and she's supposed to figure out how to get them out of there. But they are, you know, stalked and picked off one by one by this rat monster. Now the second part of the story also pertains to the first, but it's about this chemical getting out and affecting infecting the population. And the doctor there is trying to figure out a cure for it. That's basically the story in a nutshell. It's kind of like two stories mixed into one, although they are related. It's, you know, it's a pretty linear story. Um, the acting was cool. The gore was really good. I like the, most of the movie was confined into two places. It was confined in the warehouse, and then you have the other story about the infection getting out, and that was confined to pretty much a, like a few hospital rooms. So, I like the fact that it was a contained movie, which I'm pretty sure kept the budget down. I like the rat monster suit. My only drawback, like I said before, was the some of the movements that the rat monster made kind of did this one thing every time, which I said before. It was where he shook his head and waved his arms, and it kind of looked it looked kind of stupid, to be honest. And after a while, it started to get on my nerves. But other than that, I actually really liked this movie. I wasn't sure was what I was in for when I picked this film. Because I did, I bought this film, I'll buy anything that's like a creature feature. But I looked on the back, it's one of those Tokyo shock movies, I think. And that is a subsidiary of Shriek Show, which is one of my favorite labels. So, I was kind of excited after I found that out. And I was pleasantly surprised. I really didn't expect it to be as good as it was. 
this is something I definitely recommend. If you like monster movies, it's fun, it's pretty bloody, and it's got a decent story. If you like what you see in here, hit that like button and subscribe. And until next time, peace.